Drew Salim is the name. Alim Juice is the other name. Jump on and get higher, higher. Word like yeah, that's my desire. Jump on and get higher, higher. Ladies and gents, start to perspire. I wanna get higher, higher. Chrono people come a flash of the light. Now we there, I get higher, higher. I'm the spark and we all the fire. The beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning. Um, long ways back, just obviously listening to a whole heap of different type of music and getting into it basically and used to write little bits of poetry, little bits of stories and just started taking it from there, getting more and more serious from 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 a youth, from a youth and just, just coming up with it, just coming up with it. That's the beginning. Spice, height, depth, four times I'm back before I've even left With check, sight, set, on a quest to get some green intellect Walking through hell, that's right, the perfect Living upright is harder than a threat Promise to a fool and next beat a sweat Do with these jewels as quiet as Um, artist that has most influenced my music There isn't one artist and there isn't any one particular sound or genre But I say anything that I listen to in my, in my formative years is, is the main things that have influenced me. So that would be the music of my parents first off, you know. Um, anything from Sparrow to Dennis Brown to, to um, soul, funk, you know, um, creative source and things like that. That was in my dad's record collection. There'd be, um, you know, Lionel Hampton and all these kind of old jazz records and stuff like that. Um, Nat King Cole, we used to put, you know, put the records on the gramophone you know, I'm dating myself here, but um, yeah, it's, that's that's the that's the jump off for me to say I'm listening to music. You know what I mean? And the obvious artists as well. You know, Bob Marley and, and Peter Tosh and all of that. But then, as far as me getting into music influences, is the heavy early hip hop as a as a movement. That was a big influence. But then, as music, I didn't really get into the music till the mid to like. The lyrics become deeper, so the movement moved me before. Because first I was I was like a, a papa b boy, um, more you know more popping, lacking and whatnot, and then got into graffiti, uh, tagging up the place and uh, all that good stuff, you know. Um, but it was when the lyrics become more involved, you know, MC MCT, Teela Rock, Ultra Magnetics, Just Ice. Uh, people like that, they, they just started expanding because it went beyond the disco rocking, soul shocking, dominating, innovating. That was cool, but it wasn't like something I couldn't do, you know, I didn't feel moved by it. It was just, it was just rhythmic, so you, you, you move to it. But when they started to really use some big words and expand on like, uh, just, just ideas, man, just ideas, like there's, there's a lyric, that said G from Ultramagnetic says, and he says he, he moves to a point, a metaphysical radius, I'm said G, and all I have to say is this, and that's the end of the song, and I'm like, a metaphysical radius, whoa, whoa, that's big, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, you've gone beyond just rocking, rocking the party, you know, we can rhyme party with Bacardi so many times, and girlies, rock the world is, you know, you can do that so much times, but then when you start to expand on the concepts of, of reality and consciousness, then that's what took me off to say, yo, that, that's a big influence for me, you know what I mean? Is you an animal? Man, the Mac can beat sleep. Streets get that clean, sweet. Mac ain't nothing PC. Cannot pretty bow see. No stink up on my feces. Crushing the percussion till your life scream. Release me. Roll the game over. Colder winter soldier. Cult killer cobra. Back like Sankofa. Evil millipede setting speeds as my chauffeur. Dumping everybody like Pac Man eating ghosts up. My, my sound is a combination of all the, 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 the past things that have moved me, moving in now and going towards different futures, different versions of the future, um, all the obvious things, all the reggae, all the soul, all the funk, all the British streets, street sounds and the street soul music, um, uh, big up Morgan, Morgan Khan as well right there. Um, you know, every, everything, what they, what they now call bass culture, all of that is a big influence for me. 
dub poetry and that's that's the that's the sound of what you're hearing but me providing it right now through through a certain focus of right now but I'm, I'm pointing towards various different futures so sometimes my sound is more um, what people now call dubstep or what people now call grime or what people some of that stuff we was doing from way back but not because it's grime or dubstep but because we were, we were project, projecting you know like how old light cameras used to work and you, you cast the the light onto the onto the photographic elements you know what I mean and you see after what you've what you what how it is how you projected it through the the depth of the light for how, how bright it is how big the, the aperture is whatnot that's how you see the photo so it's like we, we, we do we're in a we're in a dark room you know what I mean we're casting different lights to get different photos and those photos are the future are, are, are images of the future and though we're talk, I'm talking visually but that is the sound that's what I sound like you know that is my sound so you, you're mixing all that that reggae that the, the traditional hip-hop sound you're mixing it with UK right now you're mixing it with what people call electronica and you're casting that you're casting it out sonically to get these these photographs from from you know from five minutes time ten minutes time you know next year five years time <laughs> Rockin' my hollow bar Clean the matter from your mind No matter ask why or oh, why Come to get love me, oh my uh, Mecca more testify, no law Extra oxygen supply Slap boxing oxen from a spa No pretending none of them boy won't walk Jusaleem listens Jusaleem listens to a lot of music Jusaleem listens to no music Jusaleem thinks everybody's whack Jusaleem thinks he is the best. Jusaleem thinks his last stuff should have sounded better. Um, I listen to a lot of things. Right, recently I've been listening to quite a bit of uh, Mulatu, who's an Ethiopian uh, jazz jazz mu musician, and through him it's propagated a lot of sound of um, a lot of a lot of. Ethiopian jazz people realize there's more of this stuff, so now you have a whole, uh, a whole movement of people capturing that sound of what was going on in the like 60s, 70s, and um, I actually you don't realize that you know his music already until people start playing it. You uh, big up Raj Panu for that DJ Raj Panu for actually making me realize I knew his music. But I listen to a lot of things, man. Um, listen to modern stuff. Things that come out of Birmingham, people like RT, really like RT. Respect what Leisha's doing. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of people out there. Kid Acne. You know what I mean? I listen to so much music, and yet I can't name them all. <laughs> um, there's there's too much, man. It's too much. Too much. I just keep my ears open. You know what I mean? We say blah blah blah. What? What I'm talking is this Better mind your business My business is A little bit of twisted Sadistic out your whispered kisses That's thrown at your manner For no manners Monkeys are wrenching spanners Wrapped in bandanas I'm rapping gamma No shadow banner What I mean is this The industry What frustrates me about it Everything about the industry frustrates me um, I try not to put myself in the industry to be honest I don't look at myself as someone I've been in the industry but I don't look at myself as an industry person I look at myself as a musician and, and the problem with the music industry is that it's two parts and you know it's trying to balance those two parts and one weighs heavier sometimes music weighs heavier and sometimes industry weighs heavier um, the industry is something I'm still trying to fathom still trying to work out how important it is how important it isn't the whole thing can be in, 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 um, very frustrating, but that's life as an artist. Any artist that isn't able to be totally free at some point in time is going to be frustrated. And that, that's that's na by nature, you know. You should be frustrated enough in order to project more of your art. So the whole thing is frustrating, man. Obviously, the money, the money, the money waiting waiting to get paid and people trying to 
talk to you funny, like you haven't done the work, you, know, you ain't done a job. I'm from a tradition, they say there's an old saying that some attribute to, um, some attribute to, to Prophet Muhammad, they say that a man should be paid before the sweat on his back has dried. You understand? So, you see if the world is going like that. When my dad was young, he's a, you know, he's passed away, he was a lot older than, than myself. He used to go and get work every day and he get paid at the end of the day, you understand? You see how they change it, then they get paid at the end of the week. You get a weekly, then you used to get money in your hand like a brand new book. Then it's two weeks, fortnightly. So they call it a salary and make you feel good, you know? Oh, I'm getting a salary, it's not, it's not money anymore, it's a salary. Then you get it every month. What do you do in that month's time while you're waiting? You see if the, the milk, eggs, bread, you see if you don't need pay for them daily and then they put it in your bank while they collect interest on it well the music industry does that but expanded on your on your royalties they have up to 90 days 90 days before they legally have to give it to you to say oh here's the the three pound that you earned from your royalties you know what I mean so you have 90 days you think how much if they have 200 artists each earning, let's say, £500 a piece. How much interest is that in three months? That's frustration in and of itself right there. But music, I never get tired of music. Never, you know, I love music from before I was born. Listening to music, I always listen to music. The industry, that's, that's something else. You know. <laughs> <laughs> never slacked off really it's it's always changed it's like you could say rock wasn't as big at this time or reggae died down for a bit or hip-hop wasn't popping at this moment but the the music in Birmingham artists artists wide of any type of form you know dance any, everything poetry it's always bubbling in Birmingham which goes back to one of the things that you that we talked about before you say industry the infrastructure hasn't always been here in Birmingham. That's that's something else. But music, artists, man, you throw a rock, you hit, you hit an MC, a dancer, a producer, a, a b-boy, a, a choreographer, actor, poet, storyteller, and and brilliant ones as well. You know what I mean? World class. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's popping. Like I said before, RT, Leisha. Call Me Unique, um, Malik, MD7, uh, Sickness, there's, and there's, there's too much, there's too much people really, you know what I mean? So it's what we're doing here, the power of God, and the bread of life, and the power of God.